Hey dudes, today I wanna to talk about some basic file management in Pro Tools. Hopefully this will help keep your sessions nice and neat and you won't lose any files along the way. All right, let's check it out. All right, so we have a blank session. Let's import some audio by going to File, Import, Audio. My first recommendation is that you create an FX or SFX library where you keep all your sound effects. So you can put them into different folders if that is helpful, or you can just kind of put them all into the main folder. Uh, ultimately, I'm gonna grab something out of this Foley pack that I created. Um, and what you can do is, let's say, preview a sound. Okay, so a series of footsteps. Okay, cool, so that's interesting, not bad. So let's say that's the sound that we want. The key thing here is that we don't wanna hit add. We wanna hit copy. This is important for your file management. Add will link to wherever this is, which is in my FX library, Chris Morocco Foley. Copy will copy it into my audio files folder of this particular Pro Tools session. So unless you're really, really savvy and you're really, really careful with everything, I highly recommend that you just hit copy. It's the safest way to get everything into your session. Once you're happy, you hit open. And you see here, it's gonna put it into your audio files folder. At this point, you can select whether you want it to go to the clips list or to new track. On new track, you can do a selection of where your playhead is at. You can spot to a time code or just do session start. So let's do that. I'm gonna just decrease the waveform by clicking up here. This does not turn the volume up and down, but it just shows you different sizes of the waveform. Totally optional, but while we're here, let's talk about it. And cool, I've successfully got a audio clip into my session. The next thing that we can do is import a video file. Okay, so here is a list of some of the recordings that I've done for the channel. So I'm just gonna open that up. I will say that Pro Tools does not support H.264. So something like an MOV file is good. Uh, there's other formats you can do, but stay away from an MP4 or H.264. On your video import screen, you can do new track or clips list, just like before, session start, selection or spot, just like before. And then the main difference here is that you can either import the audio from the file or you cannot. So let's go ahead and import that, no reason not to. It's asking if I wanna put it in my audio files folder, I do. And then it's gonna ask where I want to put my tracks, so I hit okay. Hey, that's me, cool. So here is the video window. If you lose that, it is under window video. Or if you have a number pad on your keyboard, you can simply do command and nine and it will bring up the video. Remember, not this nine, this nine won't work, it has to be that nine. So at this point, it's a good idea to go to file and then do a save as. Our save is grayed out. We've saved as many times as we could, but we're gonna do a save as now. So basically your PTX file is the file that you will use to open Pro Tools again after we close this. And what I can do is do something like this, like version two. So file management version two, it's automatically gonna save into my general file management Pro Tools folder that has my wave cache, session file backups, video files, audio files, and any and all of my PTX files. So this folder here is what your Pro Tools file is. It has to have all of this stuff in order to work. And this is a good habit to make different versions that you're working on. So I'll save this. I'll do another save as so you can see what I'm talking about. So now I have file management PTX and file management version two PTX. So if you have like mix one and mix two or edit one and 
up to edit 10 because you're working a bunch on a project. This is a good way to keep different versions so you can go back in time and check out what you're doing. And you never know, maybe what happened on mix one got changed on mix two, but you got to go back to mix one because you ultimately decide that's the right decision. Okay, so I've said this before, but don't click this red X. See, my video is still up. Nothing has changed in my session. Pro Tools is still open. It hasn't quit. It has just literally closed this edit window. So if you do that by accident, bring it back with the edit window. I will save now to keep it in this resting state. The way that Pro Tools wants you to deal with it is by going to File and Close Session or Pro Tools Quit. So in this case, let's just close our session. Okay, so let's check our work and see how we did. Our audio files exist in here. This is the one that I brought in, and these are from the video. Our two PTX files, so that's good. What I'm missing and what I don't see is the video file that I brought in, so good thing we're checking our work. In order to open your Pro Tools file, you can just simply double click on this PTX, or if you're having trouble with that, just go to File, open project, and then you can open from disk, locate wherever your file management project is, and hit open. So what's important here is that we locate where our original MOV file is, and we're going to pop it into our file management folder. So there actually is a video files folder. There's nothing in it. So probably the easiest thing to do would be for me to just do either a copy paste or a drag. I'm going to copy with Command C and then Command V, put it into my video files folder. Now I can go back into Pro Tools, close it out. Cool. So now I have this video file in my video files folder. Everything is contained within the general file management folder itself that has my PTX files, audio files, etc. That way, if I put this onto another drive or move to another computer, it's not linking to my movies folder on my computer. It's all contained within this file and we're good to go. All right, so just one more time as a reminder, once your Pro Tools session is built, you don't need to keep building or importing or doing anything special in the Pro Tools. You can literally just open your Pro Tools file. It will open up your session and you're good to go. So remember to use your save as, remember to check your work, make sure that all your audio files are in your audio files folder, use that copy option, make sure you copy your video files into your project, and that in general, you copy the entire folder that has everything in it. That's really important. You cannot operate a Pro Tools session with just the .ptx program file have to have the whole folder in order for it to work. So hopefully this keeps all your files safe from one machine to another machine and you don't lose anything. Hopefully this is helpful. And you can keep everything together forever and you will have happy Pro Tools sessions. Until the next one, later dudes.